welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is Zoe but most people know me as ZA Reptiles. Today we're going to be making potato, my other crusted gecko, my new crusted gecko, my tailless crusted gecko, his big boy enclosure. So if you guys have been around the last month or so you saw Pip, my first crusted gecko, her bioactive. Now I've been waiting and waiting to find a 20 gallon to make potato one as well. And I finally found one. So today in this video, we're gonna be making him a bioactive. So if you missed Pips, you'll get to see me redo how I make my bioactive crested gecko enclosures, including making a background and then making a bioactive. All right, so I have a 20 gallon long for potato. I've got lots of cork bark, lots of driftwood, and three cans of this Gaps and Cracks great stuff. Because when I did pips, I ran out after using two on just the background, and I plan on doing some on the sides. So I got three. Better safe than sorry. Alright, so I've got my pieces laid out. I'm going to use these two pieces up on the side. So one over here and one over here. So I'll put those on. I do the background. We're going all out for potato. I have to one up pips because I wasn't happy with pips. So we're going to try to make this one even better. So after the back had time to sit, I flipped it to the side, and once that had sat and was good to go, I flipped it and did the third side. And then we just shaved off all the shiny parts of the spray foam so the silicone would stick to it really well. After smearing silicone around with a glove, because I did this before the whole virus outbreak thing, I then packed dirt and moss into the silicone and let it dry and then just tilted it up and knocked off all the extra dirt. And then I installed my door from I Heart Geckos and I did recently put out a video of how I installed these if you wanna go check that out to see how I put these on. All right, so it doesn't stink anymore and you know what that means. It means we can take it upstairs and we can get it set up. I'm gonna take this marble um, like adhesive shelf liner and stick it on the sides because I really don't want to look at this. I did that on Pips, but hers is like a blue zebra. I would have done marble if I had it on hand, but I didn't. So I'll probably change hers eventually so that, that they match, but we're going to do the marble on his to hide the ugly sides. So first we're putting in our drainage layer and these are just some clay balls that I got on Amazon. So I'll link those in the description below. Um, I wish I had more, but uh, that was all I had left, but it's fine. And then to keep my substrate out of my drainage layer, I just separate them using this screen that I got literally right at Walmart, like a huge roll of it for like, I don't know, eight, nine, ten dollars. 
And then for a substrate, I'm just using the ABG mix from Josh's Frogs. This is the same thing I used in Pips Bioactive, so my other crusted gecko, which is right next door. And now it's time for our isopods and springtails, so our cleanup crew. And now I'm using this Easy Bee Mix from DBD Pet, it's a lot like ABG Mix, and I'm just using it to fill the planter areas I made with cork bark. And now we're going to put in the plants that I currently have. So I've got some of these bromeliads from Josh's Frogs that came in looking great. And I loved them so much that I ended up ordering more online. So I got more from Etsy um, a couple days later. So you'll see that soon in this video. And then my latest obsession is this Mood Moss from DVD Pet. It's like a sheet of moss and just stick it places. And I am obsessed with it and I actually want to go order more. After adding all the plants and his hide, I'm going to add some leaf litter. Hey guys, so I kind of look like a hobbit today because I've been in the basement all day in the craft and working on stuff for herpetology. So didn't exactly make myself look presentable today, so you're not going to see me. But today's the day we're going to go ahead and put Potato in his new bioactive. So I haven't given you guys an update on this since I added a couple more plants. So we're going to do that real quick before we put them in. So I put in a couple more sticks. These are actually from his enclosure he is in currently, but I took them out to put them in here. And then I got some bromeliads. And I got these two from Josh's Frogs. And then the really colorful ones there. And there. And there came from Etsy. Um, I actually got quite a few, so I put some in pips. But um, they were really good price. I got six for like, I don't remember how much, but I'll put the Etsy shop in the description below because I don't remember off the top of my head what it was, but they were super awesome. And then I got this Spanish moss. I'm currently obsessed with Spanish moss. I love the way that it looks. So I got some to hang in his. I also currently have some hanging in Percy's, but I love it. Um, so that kind of filled this space over here. I felt like I needed something. So that fills that space. He's got his coconut, all that moss. So I'm really sick of waiting. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him in. I'm so excited. The thing I added is this clear ledge from iHeart Geckos um, for his food because I didn't think about that when I did all three sides I didn't leave anywhere to attach a food thing so we just got a clear one so when the door is shut you don't notice it too much all right well we've got potato potato are you ready enclosures. I definitely like his better than Pips. I kind of want to do Pips again just to like add on to the sides. I don't want to take everything out of Pips like all the isopods and everything. So that will be a project for way later on. But I do really really like this enclosure. So make sure to hit that subscribe button down below over here over here wherever it is so that you don't miss more videos because we have more upgrades coming. And give this video a big thumbs up if you like his enclosure. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
And as always, thank you guys. We'll see you for the next video.